Good evening, everybody. Grizzgo back with another video. Today we are at the Reptilian Pavilion looking at all of our new animals, like the Gila Monster. This video almost did not happen because of a computer crash, and I thought I lost all of my footage for what we are about to build today. Uh, I took it into a computer guy, he fixed it up, saved all of my data, did a wonderful job. And now I can get back to playing more Planet Zoo, creating more videos, building more buildings, doing all of the things that we've been doing. So yeah, like and subscribe. Um, I'm glad to be back. The Reptilian Pavilion right now does have an empty exhibit and I added an educational talk seating area. Um, the mechanics in this game, the talking person can pull out one of the exhibit animals and talk about them, um, which is really cool. So, yep. But like I was saying, this episode almost did not happen because a computer crash, and I thought I lost everything. But we are back, and today we are building the Bug Bungalow. Uh, I think this build came out really cool. Uh, I was debating on doing a uh, symmetrical thing to the reptilian pavilion on the other side, but I'm trying to break my OCD habits. My OCD told me to make it symmetrical, so I fought against it and said, no, we are not going symmetrical. We are doing something completely different, but also in the same style. We can't get too crazy here. So one thing I've never played around with is the walkthrough exhibit. So for the Bug Bungalow, we are going to have a butterfly exhibit um, attached to it. So the guests will walk through our butterfly exhibit and then into the rest of the uh, kind of exhibit display building. So it was really interesting trying to incorporate this big rectangle into kind of a nicer looking overall design. But I think the end product came out really nice. Uh, I'm, I haven't decorated the inside yet. Um, but I have a big plan that I'm... I might make a shorter video on building kind of like some of the decorations for the inside. But yeah, so here we are, we're just putting up the same walls, the 3D printed walls as the uh, Reptilian Pavilion. Making a nice circle, because I love making the circles this way. And I kind of wanted to add some more dynamic wall shapes. So what we're going to do is play with this 45 degree angle. And kind of make some like hexagonal-ish uh, wall, like a uh, glass paneling. Just to kind of make the building feel a little more interesting. One thing I'm trying to get better at is laying out my pathways before I start building. Um, but this build was pretty simple to figure out, so the pathway system really isn't too complex. Uh, just leave the 4x4 four four areas for the <coughs> enclosures to be in. So we'll have two enclosures in each one of those grass panels that you can see there. And now I think in my last episode I mentioned adding a mezzanine to the Reptilian Pavilion. But we are going to be adding a mezzanine to the Bug Bungalow. And I think I did the best with what I could. And in this next episode, after this one, I will do a short little build on what I'm planning for the center 
of the mezzanine. Um, kind of like hanging from the ceiling, I want like a really intricate structure, uh, kind of sculptural shape. Uh, I don't think guests will actually go up there since there aren't any um, attractions or anything. I might put like a soda machine up there just to pull people up. Um, but it's really just for us. We're the only people who are going to know it's up there. But uh, yeah, tune in, like and subscribe. Um, when my computer crashed, I was really sad. I, I like making these videos, so I'm glad I finally have it back to keep on making stuff. And now here we're playing with kind of a funky angle. Um, I think it kind of makes it more unique to add something that's not uh, you know, 45 degrees or, you know, right on center with everything else. So just that little kick out kind of makes it a little more custom looking. And the figuring out which kind of roof to use on this thing, I should have planned a little better, but... We figure it out in the end, but I do play a lot with what to do. <laughs> so I thought about doing that, but that kind of takes the uh, uniqueness away from the shape of the building, um, just because it was so rectangle, rectangular looking. So now we're just going to go with these flat uh, corrugated metal roof tiling. Which takes more time, but in the end it ultimately looks nicer. And more thought out. You always want to kind of look at your building from afar just to make sure that, you know, it looks good from a distance. Now generally just kind of like big flat roofs like this um, just kind of look boring. So playing around with and trying to figure out how to give it a little more dimension um, is, is difficult. <clears throat> you have to play with like, uh, you know, adding a lip around the edge to make it look a little less flat. So here I'm going to add a kind of raised portion of the roof um, and it makes it look so much nicer. Just having that upper dimension looks a lot nicer and it looks a lot better on the inside as well. Yeah this top floor really looks nice with that raised roof and then this kind of like spider webby uh, glass paneling. It looks really nice and it has kind of a bug feel which is what we're going for in the bug bungalow. Now if you've made it this far in the video, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I make videos pretty infrequently, but I make a lot of them when I do make videos. Uh, another question is, would you guys be interested in me just having like a chill Twitch stream while I build? Uh, let me know. Now we're going to add the plants to the outside.
You'll see this a lot with um, kind of like the butterfly houses is they will have some shaded areas just because it'll get so hot in a greenhouse that they'll just absolutely fry their butterflies. Um, so you do want a little shade in real life. The game mechanics don't really care about that, but um, we try to keep it real a little bit. Now we're just kind of copying that same thing over from the reptilian pavilion of the bamboo, the rock, and the shrubs. Now I didn't like the, the edge, how the edge met up with the wall. Um, just because you won't really see that in real life, you'll see, you know, some kind of overhang, even if it's just a little lip. Uh, I might go on and add some kind of like gutters, uh, maybe some drains or something to kind of make it a little more realistic. Um, <clears throat> but I think this nice, this little lip kind of um, adds even more dimension to to the roof so I played with several different plants uh, I used the kind of spherical shrub on the reptilian pavilion and I thought about doing something different on this side um, but ultimately I you know the OCD thoughts took over and said I should keep it the same and use the spherical balls so here's kind of a different lighting structure kind of sculptural thing I don't know. I'm just kind of playing around with the lighting. I, I like to think of different ways to light things and make it look interesting. Now we're going to be putting, instead of the sign on the inside, we'll put the sign on the outside. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you like the sign on the outside. Uh, I think it looks alright. Uh, I've s definitely seen people build worse in this game. Um, generally I hate words on things. But I know a building like this would generally have some sort of sign uh, in the real world. So that's why I did it. And there really aren't that many text options. Uh, I do think this uh, font is a little boring, but I think the other fonts are even worse, so you work with what you can. Now we're just gonna kinda make the door a little bit more interesting. Whenever I am decorating something, I find something that might look nice somewhere else. So you'll see I just put that vent up on top of the roof just because it, I felt like it would match the roof real nice. <clears throat> so yeah, now we're just going to be doing some vital touches, changing, making sure that chain's not clipping through the door frame there. And that'll be it for this episode. Um, I'm glad to be back. Next episode, we are building 
a nice sculpture for this enclosure and like and subscribe if you haven't already um what else have a nice day don't work too hard <laughs>